Hi, everybody. This is uh, Chris Piper. I'm the commissioner for the Virginia Department of Elections, and welcome to the uh, risk limiting audit. Uh, random separation. This is, um, in my uh, experience, is this is the fun part of the audit. Uh, we're going to enjoy rolling some dice and, and learning a little bit about how the audit works here in Virginia. Um, but uh, good afternoon, and, and thank you all for being here. This is an exciting day, uh, an exciting step forward for Virginia. Uh, in, in our elections processes. I want to uh, thank our state board members for their support throughout this. Uh, Secretary of Administration Grinley Johnson and Deputy Secretary of Administration Jessica Bowman uh, for their participation. I want to also thank our uh, electoral board members from around the Commonwealth as, re as well as our general registrars and their staff. Uh, they, they performed amazingly well under the uh, circumstances of 2020. And, uh, and and the success of our election is uh, fully owed to them. I'd also like to thank the staff of the um, Virginia Department of Elections. Many of them you'll see here today uh, for their hard work in conducting the 2020 general election and getting us ready uh, for future elections that we'll have over the next few years. Um, everybody does such a great job. I'm honored to work with every single one of them. And so uh, I wanna also thank um, uh, the, uh, the VPM for being here to help us with this, with the filming of this, as well as our partners in the audit, uh, voting works. Um, as you know, we kicked off this audit on February 16th. Um, we are very excited to be able to do this. This is going to be uh, our 1st statewide audit. We've had about 35, uh, regional audits or locality based audits. We're going to continue to do audits. This is, uh, in, in our opinion and, and what we've seen nationally, this is a, a, the best way in which we can uh, tie up the election and show that uh, the system worked, that it counted the ballots properly, and give uh, that reassurance to the public that they can have faith and integrity in our elections. Um, the process that we're going to go through uh, is how we're going to uh, uh, show that the voting machines and the voting equipment was used to tally the votes, did what they were supposed to do. So it's really important uh, that we, we follow these steps and that we implement these audits in order to reaffirm uh, faith in, in our elective processes. Um, again, I mentioned uh, voting works and uh, that you'll be meeting with Jenny Van Roost in here in a little bit about uh, to talk a little bit about more about the audit. Um, but today is our um, uh, our big day. Since our kickoff on February 16th, localities have been working together uh, to pull their ma ballot manifest. And what that means is uh, they've got a list of uh, how many ballots they have from each precinct. And today what we're going to do is we're going to roll this these dice uh, to determine through the uh, use of voting works software, the random uh, ballots that we're going to pull to to complete the audit. So how do we do this? You're going to see the team here in a little bit. We have 10, uh, 10 sided, I'm sorry, 20, 10 sided dice. Uh, we're going to roll them. We're going to, uh, uh, then put the number that they roll on, on the board. Uh, we'll leave those, uh, dice out. Um, and then after we get the, the, the dice rolled, we'll have a 20, obviously random number, um, from those 20 dice. That will then enter into the software and that will kick out uh, based on the ballot manifest that the localities have provided to us uh, the ballots that those localities need to pool in order for us to start the audit process um, so over the next couple of days after the localities get their uh, ballot information uh, they need to pool um, over the next couple of days they will have public meetings where they're going to have audit review boards uh, pooling and, and counting uh, them. Uh, the results will then be sent over here to the Department of Elections uh, on Friday. And then on Tuesday of next week, we'll announce uh, the results of that audit. So it's going to be March 2nd at 1130 AM. Uh, so with that, I want to personally recognize our esteemed DICE panel. Um, <laughs> we're going to have a registry liaison, Supervisor Gary Ellis, um, a registrar liaison, Zakia Williams. Uh, our voting systems coordinator, um, Karen Hoyt-Stewart, and another registrar liaison, 
in Keith Ballmer. So you're going to see them roll these dice. I'll be up here playing uh, Vanna White, I guess, right? That's going to be my role. She has better hair than I do, but that's okay. This here is supposed to be fun. Let's enjoy ourselves as we go through this process. Gary, why don't you get us kicked off here? Five. Five. One. One. Zero. Zero. Six. Six. This is the first time on TV. Three. Three. Said normal. <laughs> <laughs> You rolled dice on TV, Gary. <laughs> and seven. Four. 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 My lucky number is four. Five. Five. We'll start a new line here. Eight. Eight. Yeah, my mom would be proud. I should have sent her the link. Man. Show her the recording. Six. Six. Two. Two. Seven. Seven. Five. Five. Eight. 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 Nine. Nine. Now it's nine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. That's uh, this one got knocked over. Should have been a four. So just making and this sure is that we're seven. All right, and this so this last one was nine. This is why we have cameras, folks. Transparency, checking all assistant. And now Keith will roll the Powerball number. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. Four. Four. All right. Okay, now at this point, I am going to read the numbers of the dice that we rolled, and Commissioner Piper is going to confirm that everything on the table is correct with what he has on the board. Five. Five. One. One. Zero. Zero. Six. Six. Three. Three. Seven. Seven. Four. 
four, 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 five, five. Eight, six, 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 six. Uh -oh. Yeah, should be a two. Should be a two. A two. Okay, make that knock over here. Two, two, seven, seven, five, five, eight, 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 nine, 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 four, four. All right. Thank you. All right, with that, so this is, again, this is why we do this uh, and make sure it's filmed and so everybody can see it in a very public, transparent manner. Uh, and so we want to ensure that the public sees the whole process and understands exactly what's going on. So with that, I'm going to turn it over uh, to the uh, to Voting Works representative, Ginny uh, Vanderrost. Ginny, take it away. All right, I can confirm that was supposed to be a two as well. So while you were rolling, I was entering the seed into Arlo. So you'll see here five one zero six three seven four 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 five eight six two seven five eight eight nine nine four. And I'm going to go ahead and save that here into Arlo. And then the next step will be for us to to launch the audit. Um, so after um, after we click on launch the audit, then Arlo will use this number to know where to start to randomly select the ballots for auditing. Um, and once that's complete, we will send all of the localities an email. And this says that Arlo is ready for them to log back in and download their retrieval list. Um, when you log into Arlo, the first thing that you will be asked is to tell us how many audit boards you plan on using. So select that number carefully. Um, if you do make a mistake, let me know. I can always reset it for you. You'll have the um, number of ballots that your locality needs to retrieve on the screen so you can make that decision. Um, after that, you'll just have a, a four buttons that has your retrieval list. It'll have your placeholders, your labels, and it will have the login instruction for your audit boards. Um, in the email that we send you, you will also have the tally sheets that you need for recording the information on each ballot and the chain of custody uh, documentation that you need for checking in and out the, the boxes and uh, or ballot containers. And I'm also including in your instructions a quick little video on a different way to randomly select ballots um, you have two options. You can use the countdown method, which is what we've been training you on. Um, but I do anticipate that some of you are going to have just one or two ballots to retrieve from very large batches. And so we have an easier way to do that randomly. It's called K-Cut. We have some video instructions um, included in that email for you. Uh, and then um, once you have all that information, you have your meetings to retrieve your ballots. We need that information uh, entered into Arlo by five o'clock on Friday. And uh, you all have done a fantastic job uh, up to this point. Ballot manifest entry and upload has gone very smoothly for a bunch of first timers. So kudos to all of you. Um, you can tell that you're very focused on this process. Uh, many of you have been asking questions already about what happens next, and that's great to see. We know you're ready and you're prepared. So, you know, along the way, if you run into scenarios that you're not sure how to address, please just reach out and we'll happy to help you with those. Uh, we, uh, we, we know as election administrators that there's always a scenario that we've never thought through before. So don't, don't hesitate if, if something comes up that we have not addressed, uh, where we expect there to be something along the way. One of the localities will have a question that's a little different than what we've had before and, and we'll work through that. So. Uh, with that said, uh, I think that's all I have to share at this point. All right, thank you, Jenny, uh, and Voting Works, Monica, and the team over there have just been amazing, and we really appreciate it. And we appreciate everybody out there 
uh, who has uh, worked with us, asked those great questions. We're continually to, uh, continuing to improve this process. Um, this is something that I think is going to be a very exciting uh, a new step for Virginia to take. And I, I want to thank you all for your willingness to participate, your excitement about participating. I, I, just hearing Ginny talk about that uh, really got me excited. So looking forward to the next several days. I want to thank again uh, Gary Ellis, Zakia Williams, Keith Ballmer, um, and Karen Hoyt Stewart. Karen has really uh, coordinated this on our end. I also want to thank Andrea Gaines, who's done a lot of work on our communications part of this and coordinating uh, these events. So really just outstanding job done by everybody. So thank you again. A reminder, um, we will have uh, the next presentation, March 2nd at 1130 AM. We will be presenting the results of the audit and we look forward to working with you all over the coming days to get to that point. So have a great day and thank you again for everybody participating.